That was a glorious intro. Hello Love guys, it. we... Let's see here. We've got a bunch of thumbs up, a bunch of comments. What is this here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me see here in the description. Not seeing anything about this. Nothing here. Change logs. Nothing here. Installation readme. Yeah, 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 this is how to install it manually. But if I look at the files here, we got this mod manager download. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, post. What's in posts? Oh. 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 Well. I'm going to absolutely have to change some things. Uh-huh. Go to the details. We've got a bunch of people that have seen this. That's a good update. Thank you, Editors 101. And let's go ahead and put this to private. And save. All right, guys, we are here looking at UE4 SS4 Oblivion Remastered mod page on Nexus. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you guys can follow along. I made a video about how to install this earlier and kind of an overview of what this mod is. Uh, unfortunately, I did a big no-no, and I didn't notice uh, under the post here that... Uh, not via Vortex, is the explicit instructions under post. For some reason, this isn't in the description here. Uh, the installation readme does go over manual installation, but I noticed a lot of mods that have Vortex downloads, mod manager download buttons enabled, uh, that they also include how to manually install, although Vortex is a perfectly fine uh, method of installing most mods. This mod is not the case, and I didn't catch that in the description or in the files. So I am going to get this set up so everybody knows how to install this um, manually and not via Vortex. This first section here is going to be what exactly UE4SS is. Um, it's it's going to be one of those mods that does a lot of Ultimate Engine 5 settings, um, and it's, it's going to enable a lot of people to improve their mods. It's going to be very required moving forward for several mods. Um, this is just going to be one of those mods that it's not flashy. You don't see any difference in the game when you have it installed, but it's going to be required so that other mods can function the way intended. So it's going to be a requirement for several mods and I think even if we look in the description right now under requirements there's already a long list of mods that already require this. So in the future if you're planning on using any of these mods you will 100% need this. With that out of the way, this next section here is going to be what happens if I've already used Vortex to install it. Well, if you followed my stupid video, which is apparently quite the mistake, uh, this is how to get it from the Vortex installation into the manual installation. Now I noticed this up at the top here, UE4SS update available. 
A lot of people mentioned that this is part of the problems, is that uh, for whatever reason the Vortex installation points to the Git repo, so it's detecting updates all the time. Um, I don't know if it's automatically updating this for other people, which seems to be the complaint, but for me it was always asking right here with the download. I always opted not to do so because in Vortex you can do a check for updates on mods. I know that's still going to say it, but if we go down here, oh, and I probably need to be on a profile mod showcase that actually has the mod installed. Okay, so we did this update. It's going through the list and checking against Nexus to see if there are any updates. This mod right here has an update, as you can see, which is kind of one of the huge benefits of Vortex is being able to update mods pretty efficiently. The manual install is quite a process sometimes, trying to find the right folder and all that. This is just an easy click and download the update. UE4SS, all right. So this is the actual mod UE4SS for Oblivion Remastered. It's showing me uh, 0 0.0.7. Uh, so something's not right here, or maybe it's just not done checking for updates against all these mods. But essentially what we're gonna do here in order to get the manual installation prepared, if we already have it installed with Vortex, we're just going to go ahead and disable the mod here. And we are also going to go ahead and remove it and delete the archive. All right. So now once that's done, Vortex is uh, no longer going to be with an extra version of UE4SS. Um, any mods that were requiring it, we probably need to disable as well, but I'm not going to do that right now since I'm going to manually install and I'm not going to run the game with Vortex. But there is an extra step. If you have OBS E64 already installed and you followed my guide to do it, we have to also go into the properties take that little launch options out of Oblivion Remastered. I'm going to just put them in a little blank text here so that I have it on hand easily available. Uh, I will also leave this in the link, uh, sorry, in the description below. It's just the path to Steam, Steam Apps Common, Oblivion Remastered, and kind of just points to the obse 64 loader.exe so that it runs that instead of the base game when you run from Steam. That's all that link does. Um, if you followed my guide, you're probably already aware of that. We're removing it just for now because um, UE4SS, I was reading up a little bit more after discovering this manual install process, and what we're going to need to do is run the game once we have this manually installed, just once, um, without OBS E64. And then after that, it kind of gets everything out of the way. Then we get OBS E64 set up afterwards, and we can run it through there. So that is all for this section. I just wanted to cover getting things ready for this manual install if you already installed it with Vortex. Okay, with that out of the way, we're going to go through the process now of manually installing UE for SS. So, we're going to go into Files. We're going to do a manual install. We do not need the signatures right now unless we have a mod that's requiring it for some reason. That's not happening right now. For now, we just need UE4SS, so manual download. I'm going to do a slow download. And then I already have a folder set up for my manual downloads. Uh, you can just download this wherever you want, but for me, I have a specific place manual mods folder. I'm going to save it here. And I want to open that file location. We are going to go into 7-zip. We are going to extract to 
the folder. Now that it's extracted, I don't need the zip file. I'm going to go in here. We've got these files here, including this folder. And let's see here. Installation README is going to tell us what folder we need to put them in. Do, 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 do. Install Steam. Okay, so we need to go into our Steam apps library. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Games here, and we are going to. You've already got your location if you have Steam. Uh, we are going to open game folder. Uh, if you do not have um, Vortex installed, the location, for me at least, is in C drive, program x86, steam, steam apps, common, followed by Oblivion Remastered. So now we're in here. We've got to go into Oblivion Remastered, extract contents of the zip archive inside the folder, Oblivion Remastered, binaries, Win64. Okay. Oblivion Remastered, binaries, Win64. So here it is. You can see OBSE64 is already in here as well. And then we are just going to take these contents and drag them on over here. Two files with the same name. What file are those? The README. That's fine. We'll go ahead and replace them. This is as intended with the UE4SS. And that right there is it for installation. We now have UE4SS installed locally. What we need to do now though is we need to run the game at least once before we run it with OBS E64. So if you don't have OBS E64, which you absolutely should, you don't need to do this next step. Uh, just continue playing the game as intended, but for us that do have OBS E64, we do need to run the game at least once without OBS E64. I do want to confirm that I'm not running with OBS E64, so I'm going to check uh, Get OBS E version. <laughs> Once I get in the game, at least. Hopefully we're not frozen. Though it appears that we are. Alright, I'm going to close it. There's another way we could run this. Since Steam doesn't want to do it. Go into Oblivion Remastered. There it is. Not frozen. Okay. So hopefully nothing crazy is happening. In the main menu here. I'm going to hit the tilde key. For me on the keyboard, it is the uh, squiggly wave button to the left of the one key. That's how you open up the console commands. We're going to type in the command git. Sorry. Git OBSE version. And it wants to do this. So this right here is why I would recommend going into your actual save. Uh, people have told me you can access your commands via the main menu. I've noticed that enter seems to be trying to prompt the menus instead. So I always get in game before I do any of that. So anyways, I've got the command here, get OBSE version, I hit enter. Script, da -da -da, 
get OBSC version not found, that means OBSC 64 is not running. Okay. That's exactly what we wanted to see, actually. And I think the fact that the game took forever to load at the beginning there is whatever OBSE, or, uh, sorry, U, UE4SS is doing uh, that requires the thing to run without OBSC 64. So I think it's got all of its settings wrapped up and ready to go. Thought I hit exit game. <laughs> I just thought it was taking forever to close. Sorry guys. Okay, so now we've got that done. We have now run the game at least once without OBSE 64 ready to go. So we're just going to come in here and go to properties. And I'm going to put that command back in here for launch options. Close this out and go ahead and run the game again. So this should now have the UE4SS installed, everything set up correctly, and it should also have OBSE running as well, so we should be able to get OBSE version and verify that it's also running. Let's take a look here. If I load this in, That theme is magical, though. Alright. Hit the tilde key to the left of 1, and then I'm going to type in the command git obse version. And as you can see, we've got obse 64 version 0 0.1.0. Uh, I don't know if obse already has an update yet. I haven't looked today but that was the latest version that I installed previously. Uh, your version may be different, but as long as you see a version, that means you have OBSE installed and running. And that is it, guys. We've now confirmed everything is up and running. We have UE4SS running in parallel with OBSE64. Uh, sorry for the confusion. I have set the video earlier on how to install UE4SS uh, with Vortex. I have that set to private. I don't want anybody following it incorrectly and um, hopefully this video is very informative and helpful. I am going to try to keep all of my videos as accurate as possible. If you see anything that I did wrong or steps that could have been done a different way, please let me know in the comments. I do read them and I am trying my best to keep a uh, Everybody up to date with as much good information as possible. If I ever make any mistakes, I'm quick to correct them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and happy Mondays. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it, and I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing, and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.